Hey guys, and welcome to DualCounter.com. Tonight I've got something a little different and a little special for you. Uh, instead of doing a box opening like we normally do on this channel, I am doing a unboxing of the Beetle and Grimm's Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Platinum Edition. So I bought this a couple months back and uh, it's just been sitting in the box uh, because life has been happening. And uh, so finally, I'm getting an opportunity now to open this up. Um, I'm super excited to see what's inside this, and I wanted to share that with, uh, with all of you guys. So uh, let's check it out. Uh, the first thing that comes in the box that you will see is this Certificate of Authenticity. Um, so looks like there's some posters in there, Certificate. Um, to be honest, I don't collect posters and stuff like that, so it uh, doesn't really appeal to me, but let's uh, open it up and see what it looks like here. Oops, sorry. I was going for Heather's fancy knife. So here we go. So it's got this nice cardboard at least, so you know that going to stay flat during shipping. So here are the posters and most important part, the certificate of authenticity. So I know that it's real. Uh, what's interesting about it is there are only 1,500 produced and this is number 449. So that's kind of cool. Not too many of them in the world. Uh, they were very expensive, so that does kind of make sense. Here's a little note from uh, the founders of Beetle and Grimm's. Uh, let's see. Selected field report on Kami. It's a little book on the different creatures on the plains of Kamigawa, so kind of cool. Ooh, looks like a paper airplane there. Ooh, a dragon with the, the bridge. That reminds me of the bridge in uh, Hoi An in Vietnam. It's one of the oldest bridges in, uh, in Vietnam. Beautiful artwork, really cool. Oh, that's weird. It's like a candle. That's cool. Ooh, very Christmassy, but it's like a murderous Rudolph. It's got like blood drips everywhere. That's weird. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Uh, this kind of reminds me of art from Spirited Away. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, so that's the little booklet it comes with. Let's see what else do we get here. What is this? Looks like a poster that folds out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, that's just a half of it. Oh, no, that's a third of it. Oops. Let's see, how do I open this up without tearing it. <laughs> oh, this is hard with uh, all the camera equipment in the way. Hold on, I'm going to take it off screen for a second. There we go. It's a big poster, so you can see uh, different parts of it. So here we go. Sorry, my camera uh, computer screen just turned off there, so I had to reach over. So very cool, beautiful. All right, now how do I get this closed? Okay, that way, that way, that way. All right, so giant poster. Here's another poster as well. Oh, we've seen this card before. Can't remember the name of it, March of something. And 
looks like we get some dragon posters as well. I believe they gave these to the stores. So now I have a, a set of my own through this bundle. So I don't think anything super special here. Kind of got like a gloss texture to it. So beautiful. These are cool. The whole set to put up. All right. And then this right here is the plushie. I'm not going to remove it out of the bag just because I don't plan on keeping this. I just don't need or want things like this in my house. My kids might enjoy it. It's got a little tail on the back. It's actually a very nice plushie. It's got a lot of uh, nice details to it. So a little stitching here on the eyes. Yeah, it looks nice. Fortunately, I don't have room for these things. Live in San Francisco, where house prices are expensive and places are tiny. So um, yeah. You'll see that on eBay soon, or maybe Facebook Marketplace. If you're interested in it, let me know. Reach out to me. Okay, and then here we go for the bag. This is what the backpack looks like. It's got these uh, fluorescent pink, like neon pink um, s edges. It looks really nice. It, craftsmanship, not the world's best. You can see there's a little bit of... Um, fraying on some of the stitching here and here as well so that's that's a little disappointing but it is sparkly look at that look at that catching that oh that's pretty uh, these also sparkle hard to hard to see from far away but yeah those are really pretty and it goes all the way around oh there's that stitching again so uh, there's a USB port here I guess for charging the uh, the special playmat, so we'll see that in a moment. All right, so let's see how we get this thing open. Oh, let's think this thing dangling. Ah, that is the necklace pendant thing. Also, not into things like that, so we'll be seeing that on eBay. Okay, focus, focus. So that's pretty clunky. You could hear it hitting uh, my desk there. I think it's made of metal based on the cold touch technique by Jobby. Shout out to Jobby. Uh, here we go. So it looks like there's like a little pouch here that you could stick stuff into. So this is designed like a camera bag. So people can't just steal things. Um, as you're walking by. So in order to access everything, you need to unzip here and take it off your back so you have access to all the things that are inside. So here we go. Let's uh, let's see what, what kind of cool things come inside here. Uh, we've got these uh, giant pink uh, like foam pads. I imagine these are the dividers that we will use later on. Um, but they basically stuffed everything into here um, for shipping. So it came in a big ass box. That's cool. This is a, like a Kamigawa binder, trade binder. We'll open that in a second. Let's see what other cool things can I discover in these pockets those are empty that seems to be empty all right here we go there's a little tin box in here Ooh, it's kind of uh, raised do you see that that's nice yeah so little raised edges here and there that's a nice tin that is a really nice tin artworks really cool that's really cool so maybe I'll have a use for this. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Um, oh, well, that's kind of bad. See the uh, pouches are sloughing off in here. So you got a little bit of that like fabric powder. So that's weird. The back of this looks like wood. But it's all like a metal tin. That's neat. 
And let's see what's inside these guys. All right, first one. Here we go. It looks like some a reach token. Mm, you know what? I'm going to zoom in for these. Ooh. There we go. All right. Uh, reach token. I believe I get two of each one. Uh, this is indestructible. And yep, there's our second indestructible. Uh, the back. Oh, well, let, let me show you the back. Looks like that. These are nice. These are like made of metal. Oh, the biting palm ninja, Heather's favorite uh, artwork. Hand job and below job at the same time. Good thing I am not sponsored by anybody. So this is a menace token. These are cool. Uh, trample token. It's like a little Bigfoot there. Uh, so let's see, what haven't we seen here? This is the uh, Death Touch. Death Touch. Nice. So yeah, Death Touch and yeah. Oh, last one here. Uh, Vigilance. Vigilance token. So that's cool. Uh, I'll put that back in here. Those can be handy sometimes, especially in sets that use tokens like that. All right, let's see what's inside here. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it almost fell out. Oh, neat. Little, like, gems. Fancy gems. They're silver on the bottom, but uh, have these, like, rainbowy, sparkly colors on top. Bling, bling. Heather would like this. They're shiny. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. So, goes back into this pouch right here. All right, there we go. And next one right here. Feels like more of those tokens. Okay, yep. These are pretty nice, the plus five, uh, plus one. But yeah, I think uh, they only come in plus five and plus one. So if you need multiple like plus one, plus one counters, you'll have to like stack a couple of these on there. So they're all plus one, plus five. So it's kind of weird. Wish they had some different numbers, but that's how these were designed. Uh, let's see, two, four, Six, ten of these. We got ten of these. So, all right, gonna put these away back into the tin, and then I'll zoom out so we can s check out the rest of the stuff here. Rip. All right, that is a very cool tin. And those are very nice uh, metals. Oh, hey, look, it's that's. Four ninety nine of uh, fifteen hundred. So I actually have a sticker that uh, identifies what number it is. Um, it is a sticker, so it might just fall off over time. But that's cool. That's there. All right. Uh, let's see what is inside this thing. I don't do a lot of trading. I keep all of my cards. So this will probably be for sale as well soon. And has a little film. Looks like they slide in from here and here and here. So that way, that way, and that way. There's little films in between. Now let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I count that right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So there are 20 pages, 
and each page holds about nine cards. So you can get 180 cards in here. So that's cool. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Very nice. Okay, set that aside. Actually, I'll put it back where I found it. In here. All right, so uh, interesting. This is also uh, extra level security. So if for some reason, I guess, uh, yeah, something falls out, you've got this little net here. A uh, little piece of paper just for holding things together. These are the sleeves. Let me zoom in. So you get these special Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Beetle and Grimm sleeves. Who knows? Maybe this will be worth something one day. 100 matte black art sleeves. All right. And then, yeah, so that's what the top looks like. Okay. And then this is... Ao the Dawn Sky sleeves. Yeah, so things like this uh, tend to become collector items over time, just because they're they were really hard to get. I mean, they were only made fifteen hundred of these, so that's cool. Uh, let's see. Here are my other dividers that I'll need to install when I'm ready. These, since I'm into photography, those are definitely like straight out of photography equipment bags. Um, so they're kind of cool. You can compartmentalize them however you choose. This is uh, one of the deck boxes. Uh, doesn't look like I can just open it without destroying the plastic. So. I'm probably not going to keep this, so I'm going to just sell it. But um, it's kind of like a metallic blue. That's cool. Looks pretty thick, so I bet you'd be able to put a double-sided commander, de uh, double-sleeved commander deck in there. Uh, same thing with this. Oh, there's that uh, murderous reindeer. That's nice. Also, this is like a pink, and it's like uh, reflective. So same thing, another deck box. All right, let's see. A little notepad for writing on. Also that reflective. Oh, and like Ninja Star Sword on the back. Cool. Um, let's see. This is the Beetle and Grimm's deck box. That big one that they had. It looks pretty cool. Um, this is just like a flat pink, not like a, a shiny metallic pink like this right here and, and this logo. Um, I am curious about this one. So I might just... Well, I got a lot of deck boxes. Maybe I'll keep this one, but let's see. All right, and then this is the playmat, I guess. All right, so here we go. Oh, look at that. All right, wow, okay. I'll admit, it's a very beautiful mat and very thick and heavy. So that's really cool. Awesome. And then, uh, I guess if I had a USB here, which conveniently I do. Uh, let's give this a try. So this is a USB B, the kind of. Uh, not quite round one and here we go Ooh, okay so it lights up red 
on the outside. That's cool. That's really nice. So yeah, these this playmat is very special, I think. It will definitely be very expensive, I think, in the future. So I can turn that off. Oh, whoa, I just turned it green and blue and purple and like a, a blue, a sky blue and a yellowish, like a neon green. And then back to the blue and then the red. Dark red, dark red, lots of reds, uh, green, blue. So yeah, man, if it like flipped through colors while I play, that would be pretty cool too. So I'm gonna see if press and hold to turn it off. Nice, wow, that is, I actually like this playmat a lot more than I thought it was going to. That is a really nice playmat. That is a beautiful playmat. Cool, all right, well gonna put that bad boy away let's hope hopefully I can get back in the way that I came but yes one of the nice play one of the nicest play mats so I didn't think I was gonna keep it uh, kind of considering it now I've seen how nice it is but all right well you only live once so Let's open this up and uh, see if I want to keep this. I remember this design was pretty nice and it was actually one of the things in the um, bundle that I was interested in. So uh, got this little piece of sticker paper or to keep it all together. I don't want to tear it off, but it I might not have a choice here. All right, well, here we go. It This hurts me because I keep all my toys sealed and the fact that I have to open this up kind of hurts. All right, uh, there's a little bit of a, like an etch as you can see in the in the video here. And this is that like metallic kind of violet and then this side says Beetle and Grimm's and let's open this up okay so really solid magnets that took a little bit of force to get a, a, apart and then this one right here as well there's some magnets here on the side so uh, pretty solid pretty solid okay here we go and then this side Oh, all right, and then let's check out the inside. Pink with the Planeswalker symbol and black. Uh, let's see what's this side. Is it the same thing? Oh, and that says Beetle and Grimps on this edge. Um, let's see, how does this thing work? Okay, so this one folds out like that, and then you, oh, okay, it opens up like a chest and you can access some stuff. That's neat. And then now put this back together like that. And there, that's the deck box right there. This, oh, there's like an etching for wizards right here. And uh, yeah. That's about it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back together. All right, uh, last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this bag together and let's see how this looks. There are no instructions, as I can see, from what I can see on how this thing works. So I'm guessing. It goes side to side like this? No, that's not right. Uh, usually in camera bags, they go something like this. Um, like that. But it's so tall. And this side is like angled down. So it like 
it's higher up here and then angles down here. So let's see what this does. Okay, so yeah, that's weird. Uh, you can see that it sticks out quite a bit on this side. It's perfectly fine on this side. Um, and then you're supposed to be able to like, you know, s make it modular like this. Uh, this is probably a bad example, but like this and or this. So you can put your deck boxes in between however you like. Uh, and I guess theoretically your play mat. But yeah, so I guess that's kind of a design flaw here. Because how am I supposed to zip this up? Uh, okay, yeah, that's... This was not designed very well. It should have also been angled. This is weird. Uh, that's really bad. It's a very expensive backpack for something that's not designed perfectly here. So that's probably my biggest complaint about this bag, uh, just right off the bat, seeing how, yeah, how do you close this? So yeah, so even when you close it, that's going to kind of stick out. Hold on, let's take a look here. Unless I'm doing it wrong, so somebody out in the world... Maybe at Beetle and Grimm's, if you can let me know, maybe I'm doing this wrong. But that's usually how camera bags work, so. Um. So yeah, it makes it really hard to kind of close. And because you've got that giant piece over here inside. So. Uh, I guess maybe it gives it a little rigidity on the top so that it'll always kind of be puffy like this. But uh, yeah, that's the only complaint that I can see out of this. Uh, otherwise, it's a pretty nice bag. Uh, the playmat was beautiful. And uh, yeah, it comes with some cool stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing of my Beetle and Grimm's backpack. Um, so if you guys like this, make sure to make a comment and say, you know, what you thought and uh, like, share and subscribe the video. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.